Adventures of the Baron Boy. Hold the bear! Hold the bear! Get in here! Yes, my liege. Over there! Take these two bitches down below and have them cleaned and prepared for their spanking. Mmm, it'll be my pleasure, Overlord. <laughs> what the hell? Who's ringing the battle stations alarm? Forgive me, Overlord, but it appears Overman and his minions are launching an attack upon your stronghold. Indeed. Overman and his army of rebels have launched yet another attack upon the stronghold of Overlord. And of course, with them is Baron Void and his colleague, Detective Cliff Russell. Mm. Apparently, we've caught Overlord and his forces off guard. Yeah, it's good fortune that we caught him distracted. You're absolutely right, Father. And I, for one, can't wait till we breach those walls so I can teach that sick pervert a lesson by ripping him a new one because I know exactly what he's distracted with. His new toys! No, Supra, my darling. What? I need you to guide and protect our new but, allies, the Baron. But it's over, man! Supra, Supra, please listen. What? But... If the Baron does not retrieve his contraption to counter the Overtimer, all our gains will be for naught, for the Overtimer can simply reset the timeline, and all our victories will have never happened. Yes, I know. Right. All right, you two. You'd best be ready to go. Because we're going now. Yes, yes, yes. In, 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 in just a moment, as soon as I what? can get my bearings. Uh, yeah. Now's not the time to check the time. Besides, how are you going to mm. be sure you got the right time anyway? We're on a planet. No, no, no. I I'm, think, I'm uh, not checking the time. The woman over there is uh, pretty much on our last nerve, so oh. I guess we'd better get going, Baron. Yes, but go where exactly? This, this is not a pocket watch. It's a sort of, well, compass, if you will. I can zero in on the pan van with it. It's just, it's giving me two different signals that are nearby. But that would only mean that there's a separate vehicle. Separate vehicle? What, you, you mean another pan van? Uh, yes, I, I suspect time so. Time is of the essence, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, he's coming the along. the last time, I am demanding that you accompany hey. me aboard the Sky Chariot. What? Lest I lift you both up and toss you on it. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, lady. Yeah, I know we're in the middle of a, a battle here, but uh, that's enough with the attitude. Besides, uh, the Baron's the only one who knows where well, to go. That- so if you want to go to the right direction instead of hitting <laughs> a place that's going to lead us nowhere... Well, then, I suggest you give the man the time to figure out his bearings. Well, point taken. However, I don't appreciate your tone, little man. Little man? There! There! I've got the lock! We're good to good. go now. I, uh, oh, we're traveling in this? Yes, the sky chariot. Oh, very well. Better grab onto uh, something. Very well. You may grasp, each of you, one of my thighs. Huh? What? what? Hold on! Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Very well. All right. And soon, Dame Supra, Baron Void, and Detective Clifford Russell are aloft in the Sky Chariot. With the battle as a distraction, as the forces attack the front, and a smaller force attacks the rear of the stronghold, Supra and her charges find a small, obscure cavern on the side of the stronghold. There, Baron. Uh, Are you quite sure we're on the right path uh, to your uh, weapon against the Overtimer? Uh, well, well, yes, uh, Lady Supra. Uh, the signal seems to be quite strong. It must lie just beyond that wall that's huh? walled up within that, that small cavern. Yeah, uh, behind a wall. Hey, you notice there's no door. Uh, how are we supposed to get through that? Oh, move aside, little man. <laughs> Come Speaking on, to a damn it. daughter of the Overnight, the greatest weaponsmith in the known world. Uh-huh. Here is my cannon rifle. Holy crap. It'll make quick work 
of that wall. But, but, but wait! That, that could give away our position. God! They'll mostly be distracted by the battle, well, Baron. Uh, yeah. Yes, but I, I can... Yeah, she's uh, got a point oh. there, Baron. Besides, like I said, there's no door. <laughs> You've got to get through Yes, it. but through the signal device, I might be able to remotely... Uh, 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 well. There, your door, gentlemen. Oh, what's done is done, then. Yeah, but Baron, come on, look. No guards. They're all fighting the battle. So, hey, <laughs> win-win. <laughs> I'm afraid you spoke too soon, Russell. Yes, there are no guards. Forgot about the watchdogs. Huh? What? Oh, 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 not again! Thunder lizards! Indeed, two giant monsters that look not unlike T Rexes bear down upon our heroes. So, even if Overman is victorious, will our heroes merely become Dinosaur Poo? And what of Lola and Billy? Well, the answer to those and other questions perhaps can be answered in the next exciting episode of Baron Boy. You have been listening to Baron Boy, written, produced, and performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Music comes courtesy of Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources. <laughs>